from Las Vegas, Nevada, you're watching March to March, presented by Principal. It's the penultimate game of the Mountain West Conference regular season. It's the UNLV running Rebels taking on a team that's firmly on the bubble, the Aggies of Utah State, as we look at the Mountain West Conference standings. Mountain West, 11-5 record for Utah State. Two games behind leaders San Diego State, UNLV at 6-10, but they started the season 10-0. Alex Sabario alongside Tim Doyle here at the Thomas and Max Center here in Las Vegas. It's a very big game for Utah State. It's quad two game here for Utah State. They need to win this one. Stephen Ashworth, a big reason for Utah State's success because of his three-point shooting prowess. Oh, clearly one of the best shooters in all of college basketball. And do not be fooled by baby face looks. This kid is an assassin on the floor, and he's going to have to do a little bit of everything in this spot for Utah State, and on the flip side, E.J. Harkless is old school. I mean, he can go out there and get you a bucket every which way. He's not necessarily a three-point shooter, but he is strong going to the basket. He has been outstanding down the stretch, averaged over 30 points a game in the month of February. UNLV is looking for some momentum going into conference tournament play. Utah State cannot have a slip up. Alex Del Barrio, it's simple. Something's going to give. We got the starting lineups here for UNLV and Utah State. Shane Knowles come on as of late for UNLV. You see him in the starting lineup. Still uh, no Luis Rodriguez in the starting lineup for the Rebels. That's been a big loss for them not having his defensive prowess and ability to score as well as a third option. You know, when you talk about UNLV, it is their defense. They lean on turning teams over at an extremely high rate. Utah State's one of the best offensive teams in the country. They shoot to three as well as anyone out there in college basketball. So you have contrasting styles in this matchup. Utah State shoots a lot of threes. Taylor Funk, Stephen Ashworth, the big reason for that. They're a top five shooting team in the country as a team at 40%. So we take a look at your keys to the game, Tim Doyle. Obviously taking care of the basketball, number one there for Utah State. Yeah, because UNLV turns you over at a rate of almost 20 per game. Competing on the glass, matching that physicality is going to be important for Utah State. As for UNLV, we talked about Harkless. Keep him going. Last out, UNLV scraped out a win against Air Force. They only made three threes. They're going to have to make seven plus in my eyes to win this game. Ryan Odom is the head coach in his second season here at Utah State after what a successful run he had at UMBC. He's got him on the bubble and potentially in the tournament, but right now they're on the next four outlines.